One main feature of the CVX is the ease of use and the user-friendly interface. This can be seen in the tool categories from our Add Tools menu. This categorizes our vision tools for specific applications. Anytime you click on a category, it will give you a definition of what the category includes on the right side. This also applies when you click on any tool within a category, and it will also give you an example of an application. The first category is presence discrimination. This includes tools that perform inspections, checking for the presence, absence of a part, and whether there's any variation in the part. A tool unique to Keyans in this category is AutoTeach. This tool can be taught quality parts, we recommend 30 or more good images, and uses those to determine different images as defective parts based on a match percentage of the learned images. Next, there are area tools, both for black and white and for color. The black and white area tool binarizes the image based on what binary level is set by the user and measures the area of black or white. The color area tool extracts a selected color from the image and measures the area of that color which has been selected by the user. The shading and outline pattern tools can be used to detect patterns and are able to output count, position, angle, and match percentage. The shading tool will measure the brightness inside of the inspection region and the color component tool will give the red, green, and blue values, otherwise known as RGB, of the inspected region and if desired, this tool can measure the hue, saturation, and brightness. The next category is stain flaw, and the tools inside this can inspect appearance such as defects, chips, and any other flaws that may be on the target. The stain flaw category also offers the auto teach tool, which should be set up with 30 plus good images, just like in the presence discrimination category. The difference in the stain flaw category is that it will output a stain volume instead of match percentage. The total stain area tool recognizes differences in the part that exceed a user set level and outputs that total amount as a stain. The next tool that measures each stain is similar but should be used when measuring size, count, and position of individual stains. The black and white area tool in the stain flaw category binarizes the image to measure the area of black or white. Both binary level and black or white are set by the user. Contrast with background is a tool that recognizes stains or flaws darker, brighter, or both darker and brighter than the background. Flaw on a line, ring, and curve are all tools that can detect burrs, and flaws that fall outside the user set tolerance from the reference line. The position angle category uses tools that can all output the XY coordinates and angle of the target object. The shading pattern and outline pattern tools are extremely similar to the shading and outline pattern tools in the presence discrimination category and can be used to output position and angle of the product. The edge position tool can detect edges in the X or Y direction and output that position. The line tool can be used to find a line between two points chosen by the user. The circle tool can find edges to make a circle based on points the user chooses as well. Both of these tools can output position information. The edge slope outputs angle information from two detected edges and the edge to circumference can output the angle of an edge inside a circular or arc shaped target. The tip tool can find the maximum and minimum position of something such as a bump or dimple and output that specific position. The cluster tool can output the center of gravity for black or white based on the user set binary level and the dark or bright cluster tool will do the same with an emphasis on stability even with the background varying.
The dimensions and geometry category is most commonly used for measurement applications. Width, distance, radius, intersections, and calculations of circles and lines can be inspected in this tool category. You can measure the distance, the width, lines or angles, intersections and centers, detect circles, and points. The count category quite simply uses inspection tools to count target objects. Cluster count tool counts clusters of the user selected color, while the edge tool counts the amount of edges in an inspection. The shading pattern and outline pattern are the same as in the other categories, but with an emphasis on the amount of patterns found. The darker bright clusters is also the same as the one found in the stain flaw category, but with an emphasis on the amount of dark or bright clusters found. The identification category is used to identify text and barcode information and can output character strings. The characters tool extracts text information that can be judged by a registered string of characters or set by referencing the built-in calendar for something such as an application that requires a date code. 1D and 2D code tools read barcodes and output the information from the codes. They can also be used for sorting. The graphic display category has tools that can actually show up on the inspection screen, but that's all they do. You can add lines, circles, points, and a scale display. The scale display can also be used to get actual measurements of the part. The mathematical operations category includes only a calculation. Within a calculation, you can use judgment results from tools in the program. Arithmetic, logical, comparison, trigonometry, and geometric functions are available. The position adjustment category uses tools that give out positional information. Upon using any of these tools, they will automatically become a reference for position adjustment that other tools in the program will be linked to to follow the object. The function list is the list of all the raw tools the CVX has to offer. Every tool from the categories I have gone over come from a tool or combination of tools from the function list. You can choose them from the specific categories or from the function list, but they may have a different name and limitations in the specific categories.